Well, it is time to pull out of uh, Morristown here. It's been a nice day. I've actually been here for a full week, but I got a lot of work done on the van. Thanks to Bill's help. Bill and Darrell have been very hospitable. I had to pay uh, 10 bucks a night to stay here, which was cool because I had no hookups. So thanks again, guys. Thank you. We'll see you. Yeah. I know I'm stinky. I'm working on the shower. <laughs> okay, Darla. We may see you guys in Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, safe travels to you guys. You're pulling out tomorrow? We're going to pull out in the morning. All right. So yeah. we can tell everyone where this is and they won't come stalk you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not going to stalk you. All right. <laughs> All right, it's time to hit the road. All right, that was an awesome stay there. Going to miss those guys. I hate saying goodbye. This has actually been a cool little RV park. It's a Desert Oasis RV Park in Morristown, Arizona. They were saying the monthly rates only this this season anyway is uh, I think $210 a month, which is pretty cheap for full hookups. Although the electric is metered, but it does have water and sewer as well. We've got a little laundry room. The uh, washers are $1.25 and the dryers are a dollar. It's able to do a couple loads of laundry. We are ready to move on. Probably only going to drive about an hour because it's already 1.30 in the afternoon. We actually go to a spot. I believe I'm going to go to a spot I was camped at a couple weeks ago. Just kind of get back in the groove of boondocking. I'm going to set up, do an outdoor shower, get all refreshed, and then start looking at the map. I think I'm going to try to get into the mountains of Arizona up around Williams and Flagstaff. Starting to warm up a little bit there. It's starting to really warm up here. They're supposed to be in the 90s this weekend. So I want to get up to higher ground where it's a little cooler. Be a little chilly at night, but that's all right. All right, we're back on the road. Away we go. Got about 70 miles ahead of us. That was a very productive stop that last week there at the RV park. Let's see, I replaced the U-joints. I uh, did the front brakes. Added uh, rear shocks. I did put on some heavy duty uh, Rancho shocks. Installed airbags on the rear as well. And what else did I do? I guess that's it. So, very productive stop. I spent a little bit of money, but that's good. It was money well spent. The van seems to be handling really good with that beefed up suspension. Sweet. All right, we're just going to kick back and enjoy this ride. going down but with those airbags I've got the back of the van lifted it up about geez probably a good five inches from what it was it was really sagging there with the weight allowed me to do a little bit better on these dirt roads yeah buddy back to boondogging And here comes the sun, ready to warm things up. Well, I think we're ready to roll. Let's do it. It's about 7.30 a.m. I was hoping to get out of here a little bit earlier, but I didn't wake up till the sun started coming up. It'll be plenty of an early start though. I drive about a half hour into a Walmart in Prescott, get a few supplies, 
Then I'll move on to Williams, Arizona. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it being a little cold. I don't mind putting a sweater on every now and then. Give the van a good looking over underneath this morning. Checked out all the suspension components I installed, the airbags. The instructions on the airbags uh, do say for the first week to pretty much inspect them every day. Check the air pressure, make sure they're not leaking. They seem to be holding well. Everything looks good under there. Well, this section of Highway 89 before you hit Interstate 40 is National Forest. There's a lot of boondocking opportunities here. I've considered uh, pulling off here and camping, but there's really a bad, there's no cell signal. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of little turnoffs. Some of them have a gate, but you can actually get out and open the gate. They just want you to close it behind you because it's uh, there's cattle grazing up here. But I'm seeing a lot of RVs off in the distance here. Nice area. Actually, I see a cell tower right there. I'm starting to pick up a signal, so I don't know. I might pull off here. Just passed another gate on the left there. This is actually a public forest road here. They, like I said, they have these gates to keep the cattle off the highway. So if you want to camp in here, you just have to hop out, uh, release the latch on the gate. It's not locked drive through and then just be sure to lock it behind you. That's the etiquette. And if I back up a little bit, you should be able to see there's this little brown marker here that says uh, 114. That indicates a forest road. That means we're not on private land. Just hop out and uh, get that gate closed behind me. I always feel like I'm coming home when I'm out on these public lands. Let's see if we can find a nice spot here. Pretty level right there. I think this is gonna work. Well, I think this is going to work. I'm glad I stopped here. I think we'll call this camp for the weekend. We'll let the holiday weekend crowds die down up there around Williams. Be able to roll in there on a Monday. Probably the crowds will thin out. It's very peaceful and quiet out here. I don't think there's anyone else camped off this uh, forest road. Kind of right over this canyon here, overlooking all these junipers. Very pretty. You can see a cell tower off in the distance, so I've got a very strong cell signal. can get some work done on the laptop. I've got all these forest roads back here to explore. Probably take the trail bike out. Yeah. Feels good to be back on the road, back boondocking.
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to give a big thank you for all the positive support during the van repairs. It was a little bit of a stressful time, but I knew we'd get through it. Anyway, it feels good to be back on the road here, back out boondocking, doing what I love. Looking forward to the upcoming videos. Going to do some exploring around here. Trying to get around to doing that wood carving video for you guys. I know a lot of you were interested in that. So anyway, thanks again. I hope everyone is doing well out there and we'll see you very soon in the next video. Take care. Peace.